You're in engineering. How are you supposed to cultivate your charisma? Let's get into it. Just like emotional and social intelligence, or EQ and SQ, charisma and engineers typically aren't in the same sentence together, let alone the same room. Learning to cultivate charisma is something that everyone should be doing if they're out in the professional world. Having better charisma is something that's going to put you ahead of your peers, especially if you're in a technical or engineering type role, because the bar is super, super low. So where do we get started in trying to get your charisma up? Well, you need to change your mindset from a me to a we mindset. So you wanna be taking the spotlight directly off yourself and shining it to the group around you, while also being genuine and authentically you in every interaction. So don't be afraid of those little quirks or whatever it is. And as long as you're being socially calibrated, so you're not doing weird things like staring at people for too long or using lewd jokes in a professional setting, these types of things, which should be totally avoided, you can start to learn how to master the art of conversation. There are simple things you can do that are nonverbal in person, like mirroring, which I go over in lots of other videos, so I'll drop one up here. So you're gonna do mirroring, so we're gonna actually be standing similar to the other person, you know, folding your arms, literally mirroring them physically, as well as being a better active listener. So when you're talking with someone, engaging with them, you are genuinely trying to listen to what they're saying instead of just listening to respond. Listening to respond is a very common thing with engineers. I go over this in many videos on this channel, but basically you don't wanna be an engineer where there's two engineers talking at each other in the same room. So it's like two monologues pointed at each other, maybe not even directly pointed, two monologues pointed at each other. And that's not really gonna to lead to much insight at all if you're just waiting your turn to talk. You want to be trying to understand the other person. And if you're doing a good enough job at that, you almost could finish the other person's sentences. Now, I'm not trying to tell you to cut the other person off and actually finish their sentence, but it's a very good litmus test to see if you can finish the other person's sentence in your head while staying engaged in the conversation. The last thing we're gonna do to start cultivating charisma now is to be more confident. Now, there is a fine line between confidence and arrogance, so we don't want you to be arrogant and holier than thou, so nobody wants to work with someone who thinks they're better than everyone else. Nobody wants that. So you need to start believing in yourself without putting others down. There's ways for you to stand out while bringing the group up and not just routinely put others down, because that's not gonna make you any friends, it's not gonna help you grow your professional network, and it's not going to help you have a better understanding of things because you won't be paying attention to others if you think you know better than them. So people do have things to offer you, whether it be knowledge, whether it be social skills, whether it be a better understanding of how your organization operates or what's going on, and you should be trying to actively listen to these people and try to have a better understanding of what's going on around you. So true confidence comes from you believing in yourself, and there's no need to put down others around you to prove anything to yourself. We just went over a few quick tips on how to start cultivating charisma now. You should keep going with this emotional intelligence playlist up here so you can become a well-rounded engineer or technical person. Or if you're ready to start into social intelligence right now, you can get going with this playlist down here. Or you can just keep doing what you're doing. You probably will get the same results if you keep doing the same thing though.